Yeah, so this morning we had Michelle Jenicky come in to do some sprint start testing uh, with her coach Gary Bourne. So we had the opportunity to have her in before she goes away to Europe for a couple of weeks. And we yeah, used our um, lab set up with force plates and our instrumented force blocks to test on her sprint start and give her some feedback before she goes away. Yeah. Set. biggest things that we look for with the, with the sprint start are front foot, back foot, force application, time on blocks, and then some timings of the first two steps out of the blocks, so flight times, contact times out of the blocks. But yeah, that's just a little bit of a delay there. Yeah. Um, good peak on your back foot still. Mm -hmm. um, I want to try something on my next one. Okay. Completely forget about all of this right. and just try and get close to the one and just see what that looks like. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Because when I go to a race, it's probably what I can do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, you're, you're, you're thinking about it. So it'll be, it'll be interesting to know what that actually yeah, yeah. looks, that looks, that looks like. like yeah. Uh, she's quite good at what she does, um, so teasing out some of those finer details is, is, is a bit tricky, so thankfully we got Trenton to do that. And one of the things that he highlighted is that the time spent on the blocks pushing off. Hers is right around, her best today was 0.367, the average was probably closer to 0.37, 0.38. Yeah, so though, at least where, where I'll play my role will be, um, we'll swap out some of the different plyometrics that we're doing with her in the gym. A lot of the ones that we've been doing lately are quite faster stretch shortening cycles, a lot of short, quick contact time uh, related plyometrics. Um, we'll probably swap some of those out for something a little bit longer and working purely on the propulsive phase. So, so if you're thinking about um, her jumping, for example, the time that it takes to go from that bottom of a, of a jump to getting off the ground, similar to being that time that she's actually whole foot on the block to now she's left that block. So if we can work on that time, bring that time down, but keeping the force expressions high, that'd be a win.